After playing, reviewing, and enjoying the absolute living fuck out of the first game because I'm a disgusting, sick human being who is just desperately crying for help, the long-awaited Lucius 2 is finally out. Hey guys, it's finally out! All two of you who are actually waiting for it can finally relax now! In all honesty, because of how mediocre the first game was, I probably shouldn't have enjoyed it as much as I did. I guess I just really appreciate good original ideas more than most people, and I really think the company should be credited more for it. But fuck that game, it's old news now, it's all about that Lucius 2! So after Cracking the graphics up to mental settings. <laughs> I dived into the tutorial like a lunatic, but not before all the shadows load in, of course. The first thing you do is classic Lucius, a crash course in fucking murdering people. <laughs> When will he learn? And this is important, because the biggest and best change from the original game is that they ditched the puzzle elements almost completely. And instead of having a set item that you combine with another to trigger a death, the game is completely open in what you can and want to use. Which yes, that does mean the game has lost its main element of difficulty, but that also means that... So yeah, shut up. Not to mention the game has an upgradable custom skill tree with some really awesome powers, which is still awesome even when they do actually work. But by far my favourite upgrade is the fact that Lucius himself doesn't look like an angry smurf anymore. In a way, he kind of looks awesome in a terrifying kind of way kind of way. Which does help build immersion because you're not trying to constantly position the camera in a way that you can't see his face the whole time. I guess the story and setting kind of helps as well because, major spoiler warning, the game revolves around some kind of prophecy about the end of the world. Which I like because there's some kind of incentive and everything feels a lot more dangerous and fast paced. As opposed to the first game where the only threat is that a moment might pass without someone fucking dying. So what I'm trying to say is that, and I feel bad for saying this, the first game really feels like a beta test for this one. Just because of the sheer number of issues they fixed and improved on. Although, and I have no idea why or what causes is this, that stupid issue where the music volume is constantly increasing to the point where it overpowers the dialogue is still as present as ever. Yay. But despite that, it's still nice to see that that classic Lucius humour that we all know and love is still there. Hey, why is the space between a woman's breast and her hips called a waist? Just... just please don't. I love these animated cutscenes, I love the music, I love the voice acting, I love literally everything. If it was possible, I would physically make love to this game. <clears throat> and, although the devil talking to the detective is maybe a bit too much... Whoa, okay then. I really feel like this game is suddenly a lot more enjoyable and playable for a much wider audience. So yeah, support them by giving them your money, or don't. But except, please do.